In this video, we're going to look at converting recurring decimals or repeating decimals into fractions. We'll start off with some basic terminology. Here, we've got 0 0.9 recurring. All that's telling me is that that 9 is not going to terminate. So it'll be 0 0.9, 9, 9, 9, and just keep going and so on. What we're going to do is look at converting these into fractions and later in the video we're going to look at converting into mixed numbers and top heavy fractions also. We're asked to write the following as a fraction in their simplest form. I'm going to start with 0 0.3 recurring. What I want you to do is hit pause and think about what this is going to be as a fraction from your basic understanding of maths. Hit pause, have a think about it and we'll come back and do it. Okay, the answer is going to be one third. So if you know 0 0.3 recurring, remember 0 0.3 recurring is 0 0.333 3, 3 and so on. And this will just keep going. Anytime you're finished, add another 3 on, keep going, and it will still continue. What we're going to do is look at a method in which we convert, convert this into one third. And we do that by letting x be equal to 0 0.3 recurring. What I'm going to do is multiply this by 10 on both sides. That gives me 10x will be equal to 3.3 recurring. With all these problems, what I'm trying to do is match up the numbers after the decimal. I know that's going to continue forever, and I know that's going to continue forever. So once those are the same, what we're going to do is subtract downwards. So I'm going to rewrite underneath x is equal to 0.3 recurring. And we're just going to consider this part right here. So if I subtract downwards, 10x minus x will give me 9x. 3.3 recurring minus 0 0.3 recurring is just going to give me 3. Dividing both sides by 9, x is going to be equal to 3 ninths, which of course will cancel down to 1 third. And that's nice and straightforward. So all we've done is let x be equal to 0 0.3 recurring. We've multiplied it by 10. The idea with all of these is to get the pattern the same after the decimal point, and then we simply subtract downwards. So let's do uh, 0 0.2 recurring. Hopefully now you can guess what the result is going to be. So we will let x be equal to 0 0.2 recurring. Therefore, 10x will be equal to 2.2 recurring. And we'll rewrite this underneath. x is going to be equal to 0 0.2 recurring. The only reason I do it this way is to simply uh, make things slightly easier to see. You know, the idea of subtracting upwards is not really ideal. 10x minus x is 9x. 2.2 recurring minus 0 0.2 recurring is just going to give us 2. So x is going to be divided both sides by 9, 2 over 9. OK, nice and straightforward. The reason I've left this one here is because it gives us a nice result. And you might, if you're ever bored and you want to show to people you know a bit about maths, this is always a nice one to do. So let x be equal to 0 0.9 recurring. So that's 0 0.9, 999, 999, and it's going to keep going on. It will never reach 1. 10x is going to be equal to 9.9 .9 recurring. So rewriting underneath, x is going to be equal to 0 0.9 recurring, and we simply consider these two right here. I'm going to subtract downwards, that gives me 9x. Subtracting downwards, that gives me 9. Divide both sides by 9, x is going to be 9 over 9, which is 1. So if anyone ever tells you 0 0.9 recurring is not 1, show them a little trick, and it makes it 1. I will leave you to think on that one. OK, let's look at this one. This one is slightly different. Only the 9 is recurring. So if we wrote this out in long form, the first few parts of it anyway, we would get 0 0.0999 and so on. This denotes the recurring part right here. So this one is going to go 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4. This one is going to go 9, 9, 9, and so on. So we'll let x be equal to 0 0.09 recurring. Now, last time I multiplied this by 10. That gave me 10x. This time, though, what I'm going to end up with is 0 0.9 recurring. All I'm doing is multiplying this by 10. So my next step is to multiply both sides by 10 again. So what I'm going to have is 100x is going to be equal to 9.9 .9 recurring. I now have what I want, and that is a matching pattern after the decimal. So we've got the 0.9 recurring. 
So rewriting, I've got 100x is equal to 9.9 .9 recurring. I've got 10x is equal to 0 0.9 recurring. Subtracting down, what we're going to have, 100x minus 10x is 90x. And then we're going to have 9.9 .9 recurring minus 0 0.9 recurring is 9. Dividing through by 90, x is going to be 9 over 90, which we can simplify now to x is equal to, that will divide through by 9, 1 tenth. And you will be asked to simplify these. So let's look in a calculator. And you can use on these newer calculators, you've got a function to do this. So if we wrote it in 0, 0.0, and what we would do is hit shift, then this button right here, and that gives me now the recurring part, and we get 1 tenth. You'll be expected to do this non-calculator. This is a bit pointless doing it with a calculator. But hopefully, if you've got a calculated hand, you can check your results. OK, let's look at this one here. And what you might do is start spotting patterns. OK, so if you want to spot a pattern and guess what this is going to be as a result of this being 3434, 3, 4, you can do. So what we've got then is x is going to be equal to 0 0.3. 4 recurring. So all that's going to be is after the decimal we're going to have 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4 and that will continue. So 10x is going to give me now 3.4343 3, 3, and so on. That's no good to me. It's not going to match after the decimal. So we'll go for the next one. 100x is going to be 34.34 .34 recurring. I've now find my match, found my match and my match is with 100x and then the 1x. And what we can now do is write 100x is equal to 34.34 recurring. And then the x is going to be equal to 0 0.34 recurring. We can subtract downwards. That's going to give me 99x is equal to 34. Dividing through, x is going to be 34 over 99. And there are going to be no common factors of uh, uh, 34 and 99 other than 1. So we'll just check our answer. And what we did was 0. Point. And in your calculator now, what you would do is just hit that one. You only need to do it once. 3 and 4, it will be both picked up by that. And that will give us the 34 over 99 we've just found. OK, this one's exactly the same. So we'll leave that one alone. OK, what else have we got? Um, this one here, 3, 4, 2. OK, let's do that one. So this one now, this denotes that this pattern is going to be doing the following. So what we've got then is 0 0.342, 3, 4, 2, and 3, 4, 2. We've only got on here, and I'll just write it here, x is going to be equal. So we're letting x be equal to uh, 0 0.342 recurring. The dots denote the start and the end of the pattern, so we don't need one on the 4. Hopefully, you can already see what this is going to be. But if we're asked to show our workings, we would multiply this by 10. So 10x would be equal to 3.423 and so on. 100x would be equal to 34.234 and so on. And it's up until 1000x that we get the pattern matching at 342.342 recurring. OK, and as stated, hopefully now you're spotting the patterns that are going to leave us these values. So what we've got is X is equal to 0 0.342 recurring and 1000 X is equal to 342.342 uh, recurring. So what we'll do is write 1000 X is equal to 342.342. And then uh, I don't know why I put a dot there. Uh, and then what we'll have, I told you not to do it and I've done it. Um, 0 0.342 recurring. So what we'll do, subtract down, that gives us 999x is going to be equal to 342. And what we would do from here is simply divide through. So x is going to be 342 over 999. What we need to do from here is uh, see if we can cancel this down. And looking at it now, um, that's going to give me 114. So I, I can divide both these. I'm thinking about what I can divide it by. I can certainly divide it by 3, which is going to give me 114 over 3, 3, 3. And I can go again. I can divide that by 3, which is going to give me, uh, what's that going to give me? 38. So that's going to give me 38 over 111. 1, 1. 
and looking at that that's about as far as it's going to go so if you're asked to do it just take your time um the, the way i looked at that maybe I, my brain's going a bit but i looked at 300 and now i can divide that by 100 42 i know i can divide by 3 gives me 14 and then just work it down from there so let's see what that would give us now if we put this in so what we'd have then is zero point and then we'd have now three let's put that in i know we want it at zero point and then we can put this in now as the the that one don't i three four two okay and it's going to pick all of those up and that'll give us uh the 38 over 111 okay nice and well say straightforward logical right let's move on to some other ones okay these ones are slightly different what we'll now do is look at mixed numbers and top heavy fractions we'll start with 1.7 and we'll write that as a top heavy fraction so let's just consider top heavy fraction 23 over 16 is a top heavy fraction or vulgar or improper whichever term you use it means that the numerator is greater than the denominator we're also going to write this as a mixed number and the way i'm going to show you is well i'm going to show two different ways one is more legit than the other so let's start writing this now as a top heavy fraction so what we'll do is take the first approach and we will say well we'll let x be equal to 1.7 recurring so 10x is going to be equal to now 17.7 recurring so i've now got a match my uh, 0.7 recurring so i can write this now as 10x is going to be equal to 17.7 recurring x is equal to 1.7 recurring if we subtract down what we end up with now is 9x is equal to 17 minus 1 which is 16 so x is going to be equal to 16 over 9 so that right there is going to be a top heavy fraction if i wanted to write this as a mixed number i've got two choices and my preferred choice is to split it up and write it as 1 plus 0 0.7 recurring so if i just leave a one alone for now and let x be equal to 0 0.7 recurring we know 10x is going to be equal to 7.7 recurring so we've now got our pattern and we can write this below and subtract out so 9x will be equal to 7 and x will be equal to 7 over 9 so remember i need to add my one and we could write this as one and seven ninths if you wanted now you could convert this into an improper fraction by simply converting the one into nine ninths nine ninths plus seven ninths is 16 over nine so you've got two different approaches to it this is generally the preferred method so please do check with what your teacher is asking you to do before going ahead and doing something too crazy okay what we'll do we'll take this one here and do two different methods so what we'll do we'll first start off and we'll convert this now into a vulgar fraction a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction and we'll do it the longer way so what we'll say we'll let x be equal to 2.36 recurring so what we'll have now is 10x will be equal to 23.63 and so on and so forth 100x will be equal now to and what we're going to have is 236.36 six recurring okay so all we've done now is simply multiplied it by 10 we got 23.63 multiplied it by 10 and we got 236.36 and we can now see that our pattern starts just here so what we'll do now is write the following we've got 100 x is equal to 236.36 recurring we've got x is equal to now 2.3 six recurring we can subtract down and we will have 99 x will be equal to 234 so x will be equal to 234 over 99 and we can that will divide by three as well uh, it might divide by more so if i divide that by three that's going to give me 78 over now 99 uh, so that's going to come down to 33 uh, we can still divide that if i want to divide that now by 3 that's going to be 26 uh, and then this is going to be over 11 so if we keep dividing it down we're going to get 26 over 11 now if we put that in a calculator 
uh, what we're going to have then is the following. Let's do that two point, and then we want our three six recurring, and hopefully, there we go, 26 over 11. If you wanted to write that now as a mixed number, I would be tempted to split it up and simply say that that's going to be 2 plus the 0 0.36 recurring and just deal with the 0 0.36. So what we'd have is x is equal to 0 0.36 recurring. We know now that 10x would be equal to 3.63 and so on. Then we would have 100x is going to be equal now to 36.36. So we've got our recurring pattern. We would simply rewrite it, and I'm rushing this one a bit. So all we'd end up with now is 99x is going to be equal to 36, and then x is going to be equal to 36 over 99. We could simplify that now. We could divide that, uh, certainly divide that by three. So what's that going to give us? That's going to give us 12 over uh, 33, which will go down again. Uh, so what can we do? We can state that that's going to be uh, 12 over 33 and we can divide that and that will give us 4 over 11. I could have divided it by 9, couldn't I? So that gives us 4 over 11. We've also got the 2 to bring back. So we could write this now as 2 and 4 elevenths. And hopefully now you can see the connection between these two. If I converted this up right here, what I'd end up with now Two, uh, if I converted that into 11, so uh, 22 11 plus 4 11 would uh, give us now 26 over 11. So that's the general idea. As stated, you can leave the 2 in and just do it normally, or you can take the 2 out. But please do check with what your teacher asks you to do, um, as some people will require different things. So there we go. That's the basics of it. Um, just d take it. Pick a method, decide what works for you, and do check that this method, this second method, is acceptable. But essentially, all you're doing is looking for a pattern. After a while, you might spot a pattern. But if you do, make sure that you're showing the examiner your workings to get the final answer.